Hey guys, it's Football Manager 20 time. This is RC. Welcome back to a new season, a new year, and everything else. So last episode, we forwarded 30 years into the future. If you haven't checked out that video yet, go check it out. We've got a short, about 15 minutes, kind of going through the Premier League, uh, looking at Leeds United, of course. And then uh, then we jump into the uh, Vanarama Regionals, as I call them, the North and South. Uh and we look at a group, we look at every club and we go through a list of uh, seven clubs that I was interested in based on uh, just different criteria, nothing particular. Uh, they had to be in the Vonorama North or South at the time. And I was looking specifically for clubs that either had never been there before or only made it a couple of times over. The 40 year period and we ended up with uh with seven clubs and i apologize i have a yellow hat today um i wear hats on the weekend a lot when i record and with the green screen i cannot get the filter to work with this i played around with it so it is what it is um i just couldn't find my purple hat this morning um oh well um so anyway we had a list of seven clubs and there were three in particular that i was looking at and so what I did, I, I, I was waiting for some comments. Sadly, I didn't get any. Um, very jealous of guys like Lelugio. I've, I've been watching his Kings Lynn Town save. Kings Lynn was a club I was interested in doing. Uh, unfortunately, they, spoiler alert, were not in the Vanarama North or South uh, <laughs> to be able to pick from them. Uh, but being that he was already doing them anyway, I wasn't going to go up against that. Uh, so I was looking for a club that A, nobody was doing, and B, a club that had to be in the Vonorama North or South. And lastly, a club that uh, had come from lower levels and had worked their way up and, and were in the regional uh, leagues at this point in time, 30 years in the future. Uh, so, yes, all the players that were used to being there, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, they're gone. They're retired. Uh, so we have all new gens, which I don't have a problem with. I think that's a, a unique twist for this save. And look, every every save is going to end up turning into a new gen save at some point if you go far enough in the future, right? So I'm just beating it to the punch. So let's give a recap. It was Michelover Sports FC, Worcester City FC, Didcot Town, Dunstable Town, From Town, Hampton and Richmond, and Mirthsum. Now, out of those seven, the three that really got my attention were Didcot, Dunstable, and From Towns because they appeared to be the three clubs with the fewest appearances in the Vonorama or had just made it like like once or twice. I think one of them may have been five times. So then what I did is I went to their Twitter feeds. I figured out how I looked at how many followers they had. I did not take the club with the most followers, so I'm not a glory hunter. Uh, and but it, just if you're wondering, that would be they ranged from five thousand one hundred and ninety six for Mirthsome, all the way up to thirteen thousand for Worcester City FC. Uh, and then I looked at the year, I went to their wiki page, I looked at the year they were founded, I read a little bit about each club. Uh, the oldest club in there was Mirsum at 1892, so kudos to them. Strangely enough, they're the oldest club and they have the smallest Twitter following. Okay, uh, I thought that was just kind of ironic. All the way up to the most recent club founding, which was Michelover Sports in 1948. I was interested in them uh, because the most recent club, so they're the newest club with the shortest history. But I was also interested in in some other clubs because they had longer histories and had not ever been up this, you know, to this level before. So who did we go with? Well, don't don't read the bottom left corner because I can't make that go away, but. We're at Dunstable Town Football Club. That is the job that I've decided to take. They play here at Creasy Park. Nice little pitch for lower leagues. 
And they have hoisted some silverware and obviously dropped some trow. Uh, so that's nice. So uh, that is where we will be going. So let's jump in and take a look at a few things. So we're over here in uh, the Western Hemisphere. Uh, I live right about there in Houston, Texas. Uh, so right about there where the uh, arrow's pointing to. Uh, and over here we see Creasy Park Stadium. So we'll fly over there across Greenland and Iceland. And we'll get over here into the UK. And let's see. So here's Leeds up in Yorkshire. So again, I'm a Leeds fan, so I'm familiar with that. Uh, Liverpool, Sheffield, uh, Nottingham Forest, and the great sheriff of Nottingham, right? And Robin Hood, that despicable <laughs> scallion. Uh, Leicester. Petersboro. I'm just, you know, going down the M1. I, I know nothing about any of these places. I, I can read the map, but that's about it. I, I've heard of the M1. Isn't that like the major through fare uh, north-south? Uh, goes all the way from uh, England up into uh, uh, Scotland. Isn't that right? That is Scotland. Yeah, Ireland's over here. Cool. All right, geography. Sweet. All right, Birmingham. Uh, let's see. There's Worcester. Okay, cool. That's one of the clubs that we had looked at. Uh, Milton Keynes, isn't that the Dons, the MK Dons, I believe, play right there. Uh, da, 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 Bury St. Edmunds, Ipswich. Uh, of course, London down here. And so it's north of London, not too far away. There's Luton. Uh, Leeds actually plays Luton Town today. Stevenage, I've heard of. Biggleswade, do they have a team? That's a cool name, Biggleswade. All right, so we're going to zoom in here. All right, so it's in the Dunstable area. Uh, Aylesbury, that's a cool name. Himmel Hempstead, I have seen that. Sounds like a car dealership, to be fair. All right, so it's a straight shot up M1, Watford. Okay, recognize that name. Milton Keynes looks like a fair-sized town. All right. Yeah, Dunstable looks like a just a little hole in the wall town. It may not be, but it looks it looks relatively small. Now it's hard to put in con comparison when I you know I'm used to look a town like this would be a very small town in the U.S. just from what I'm used to, and I've lived in in thirteen states, eleven states might be thirteen. I don't want to give you guys a rundown. If you're curious, let me know in the comments and I'll give you a rundown of all the states I've lived in uh, in a future episode, if you care. If you don't care and you don't comment and ask, I won't do it. All right, so let's see. So we're in Dunstable. We have the Priory, the Paddocks. It looks like, what is the Paddocks? I don't know, but it doesn't look like there's anything out there in that little, in that little picture. Stippers Hill, nice. Beecroft. So Beecroft might be where we want to live. Maybe out in Houghton Regis. Maybe we'll have to room with somebody because I don't know if we'll be able to afford it. All right, so there's the stadium. Oh, tire and exhaust repair. Tidy bedrooms. Must be a cleaning company. I'm willing to bet. All right, so there's Creasy Park. Are we going to get a picture here? Dunstable Town. Let's, oh, so look, we have a couple of people that play there. AFC Dunstable. All right, there we go. There's the website if you want to check it out, dunstabletownfc.org.uk. It doesn't look like they're going to give me any more detail there, so we don't have any 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 nice pictures, but I did pull up a couple, so uh, we can get to the park gate. That's the gate to get in. I might have to turn sideways and suck my stomach in. That looks pretty narrow. Yeah, I don't know if I could even get in there. They may have to like open, create a hole in the fence for my fat butt. But uh, let's see. Can we zoom in on that? No, that ain't what I want. Well, is that eight pounds? Eight pounds for adults, three pounds for 12 to 18, and five dollars for five pounds for concessions. Sorry, it's in pounds. That freaks me out. And let's see, there's a shot of the stadium, a little bit of information, 3,500 capacity, 300 seats. It does have some toilets, 
a clubhouse, a burger bar. So the little burger van over in the corner in the in the uh, game that'll that'll actually fit in nicely, and a club shop, 100 spaces on site, plus street parking nearby for the other 200 people because we're gonna sell out every match, right? Uh, directions if you're interested to go check out the club. Have fun with that. Uh, let's see. I don't know if these will blow up or not. Nope, they're not. That sucks. Oh, well. We got that. And that. There's our ground. And, of course, nothing's blown up here. But that's all right. Nickname is The Blues. That's good. Uh, these are copyrighted by Richard Savory. Richard, I am not making any money on this video. I don't have enough subscribers on YouTube, so please don't file a ban against me. Uh, I just pulled it up on the website to share a little bit of history about the club. My apologies. Let's get off of there. I don't want the guy to sue me or anything. Richard, seriously, dude, it just showed up on a search. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, oh, there we go. There's the drop trial picture that I got. Nice. All right, and uh, let's see, a little bit of information about the club. It is based in Dunstable, which is in Bedfordshire, and uh, part of the Bedfordshire County Football Association, part of the Spartan South Midlands League. Any idea what level that is in real life? No idea, no idea. Oh, they got relegated. Southern League Division One. So they oh they they got relegated this past year. Sorry to hear that, Dunstable Town. We'll see. But you guys are up now. Because remember, this is 30 years in the future and you are actually in the Vanorama. So kudos. And uh, we'll try to get you up even higher. No guarantees. No guarantees. So established in 1883. So I take that back. They are the oldest club. 1892 for Mersum. Uh, 1883 for Dunstable Town. They have 7,378 Twitter followers. So I hope to get a couple of those guys to come check out the video. If you are a Dunstable Town fan, let me know you're here. Uh, I do like the crest, the little green leafing and stuff around it. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, I don't do Latin, so I have no idea what that means. Just, Justentia, Omnibus. Be it. Okay? If you know what that means. Now, I know who this guy is. George Best. Man uh, Scum. Man United. Uh, but evidently, he played for Dunstable Town. Nice. 73-74 season. Very good. Oh, okay. This was after at the end of his Man United career. Okay. No competitive appearances for the club. Hmm, interesting. So he came over just for a couple of checks for friendlies. Nice. Uh, let's see. Asty, Jeff Asty, 34 goals that year. Division One South runner-ups. Uh, let's click on that because history of Dunstable Town. Well, you know what? That's the same wiki page. We'll get down to there in a minute. Don't be in such a hurry, RC. Because I'm learning about the club. This is the meet. You know, we're meeting. You, we, you and I are meeting with the chairman together right here. We're learning about the club. Because I haven't actually read all of this. All right. So they won the Spartan South Midlands League. Oh, they were they were the uh, what was the name of the Arsenal uh, that never lost a, a game. Uh, so yeah, they Dunstable, same thing. They never lost a match that year. Sounds like the cats are hungry. It's a little early. It's, uh, 540. 540 in the morning. All right, let's see. So Southern League, Bedfordshire Premier Cup. Okay, yeah, these are, these are well down, I'm thinking. Uh, best FA Cup performance. They made it to the first round in 1956. Uh, FA Trophy in 2004 to the first round. Uh, FA Vase. have no idea what that is. Uh, first round 2010. Record attendance was 10,000 in that game with George Best and Man United. 
Uh, they beat Welland Garden City 12-0 a decade ago, real time, real life. And the heaviest defeat, they lost to the Arsenal A squad 13-0. Woo! And their record transfer fee, they sold Kerry Dixon to Reading for 20,000 uh, pounds. Let's see. All right, well, let's look at players and managers. Not many. Only four. Really? Well, this is a wiki. I'm guessing they've had more than four managers since 1883. Just a guess. But Kerry Dixon, Seamus Dunn, Barry Fry, and Pat Morrissey. Barry Fry was the manager back in the early to mid-70s that uh, brought in George Best. And I'm pretty sure outside of Best, I probably won't know any of these guys. So there's Best. Byron Bubb, that's awesome. Tony Curry. That name is familiar. That doesn't mean jack shit, I understand. Looks like we have a couple of brothers, the Dixon and Dunn brothers, maybe. Maybe. Complete speculation on my part. Complete speculation. All right, well, anyway, that's that's enough of that. So uh, let's pop out of here, and let's open up the game. All right, so this is where I left off. Actually, this is from last night, so I hope the game has it locked up. Uh, I was 30 years into the future. The Dunstable job was not open, so I had to create a, uh, a new profile. A uh, little grayer than I actually am, but uh, it was weird. I tried to use the face generator, and uh, it didn't work. Have you guys had that issue? No clue. But I took the picture with my webcam, and obviously my webcam works because I'm right here. And uh, yeah, nothing showed up. So I, I just really I didn't know. If, and even when I picked a random face, nothing showed up. From you know when I put my track suit on and everything, nothing showed up. So have no idea. Um, had no idea what I was going to look like until this popped up. Went, huh? Okay, well, it is what it is. Um, premature grain because I dialed back my age to 32 years old. Uh, so I, I can have a long career. All right, so let's get into this. I haven't looked at the club. This is where we're starting. Uh, we have no general manager. I do have an assistant coach in Josh Vance that is with the club. Creasy Park, 3,800, 300 seating, basic training, poor youth, and adequate recruitment. Uh, 2014, there you go. <coughs> and the Spartan South. So we just kind of covered that. Half Star Reputation. That is not their logo. I have not updated logo packs yet. Uh, there is some stuff, I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's evidently some stuff going on about uh, photo packs and logo packs this year. So we may just have to deal with that. If it becomes a big, you know, if, if that turns out to be something that we can't do, then what I may try to do is at least bring in our logo for this club's because, you know, it's a pretty nice logo. Uh, but anyway, uh, let's move on from here. All right, we'll look at the club. That you know, again, these are all regions, so we'll we'll look at these in depth. All right, so here's the new part, and this is kind of interesting. You saw how this worked out with our, with me and our Barcelona save. Uh, <laughs> so a little different, but work within the payroll budget is to be requ is required over the whole five years. At the end of this season, we are required to avoid relegation reached the fourth qualifying round of the FA Cup minimum, reached the first round of the FA Trophy, and I'm on a one-year deal. At the end of next season, they want to firmly establish, or they would like us, so this is favored, not, re not required or anything, just very low, to become an established team in the South. So basically be staying up regularly uh continue continue okay so really there's no real long-term goals just to stay up uh let's see welcome to dunstable uh schedule a press conference uh no arrange no and 
Yes, go ahead and send that. I think I have set all the uh, staff things that I want. Uh, let's see. So I have been hired as coach. Uh, eyebrows have been raised. Oh, and I'm I'm 63. What happened there? How did that happen? I'm pretty sure I dialed that back. Oh well, we'll figure it out. I'll just I'll have a long life. My grandmother, uh, for those of you that didn't see earlier, I was recording the other day. Uh, so I'm recording this on Saturday morning. Uh, Wednesday, my you know my last surviving grandparent, my grandmother passed away. She was uh, 103 years old. She would have been 104 on this. Her birthday was this upcoming Monday. So um, you know maybe I'll be blessed with uh, with some of her genes and have a have a long long life. And we'll uh, we'll roam the sidelines for a while. Uh, I don't know. Does the game force you out with mandatory uh, mandatory um, retirement or anything, or does it make you die? That would be interesting. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. All right. So uh, ongoing negotiations. Maddie Davies has a contract offer. Oh man, these zero contracts. Let's just look just for the heck of it. All right, so it's a non, okay, non-contract. Now, a non-contract means he can basically leave the club at any time, I believe. Is that right? I haven't dealt with non-contracts in so long. Um, so there is, yeah, there is no length. There is no salary. He just gets an appearance fee. And I think that, I think that means he can, he can, yeah, there should be like an info there. Boy, I'm going to have to look that up because I want to make sure I don't bu butcher these uh, these finances because finances are really important at this level. Um, but anyway, we're going to let that go. N Nikki Watkins has a couple of transfer offers for, for uh, from Dorking and St. Knott's. 21 years old. A fringe player, exciting. Now he looks really good. Oh my god, we're not going to keep him. That would suck. Possibly, he can't finish, so he can't play striker. Uh, passing boy, I'm looking at these ratings and I'm going, Yeah, it's not uh, Real Madrid, is it? <laughs> if you're new to the channel, uh, Real Madrid is who I used in my beta save. Uh, so uh, yeah, anyway. Last year of the contract, lacking potential. So we got some, we got some nice looking players, right? So some of these guys are actually on salaries. Stuart Coates, fifteen thousand a year. That's a pretty nice contract at this level. Part time contract. Okay. Interesting. So I will need to get rid of this. I to get rid of this. I will need to get used to this. Um, I'm not going to apply any of those. We'll do the captains in a bit. Club vision. All right. We already kind of looked at that. Uh, so we will accept the current view. All right. Ollie Woodman has left his position. Mutual consent. Ollie. Good luck. Well, he's probably not really the manager now because we are 30 years in the future, remember? So, um, you know what? Just for... Oh, Jurgen Klopp. 74, he's retired. So, okay, no longer a coach. And let's see... Uh, Lionel Messi, 30, uh, he retired at 37. All right, doesn't say if he's alive or dead. I guess it doesn't track that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm just, you know, macabre, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, so that's where we are. All right, let's get ahead to where we can look at the team. All right. Social feed. 
All right. Once we get off of the day, there we go. Everything is set up now. All right, Davies. Oh. Oh. Come on, man. All right. So, let's look at the squad. Very small squad, and that's to be expected at lower leagues. Uh, so, let's see. We've got, uh, looks like we've got a really good keeper, Stuart Coates. Handling, kicking, one-on-ones, not bad, not bad. So he's definitely 23 years old, definitely a guy we can build around. We do have a good-looking younger, well, he's 22. So we, ooh, 20 eccentricity. Wow, haven't seen that before to do the unexpected. I'm going down into the attacking end. Kiko Casilla style. <laughs> Passing, one, yeah, one-on-ones, not very good. So he's not a very good keeper. He kind of scares me. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, pretty solid veteran center back in junior go. 13 tackling. All right. Everybody's wanted. All the good players are wanted. Uh, so we may lose half of our team. Who knows? Uh, Gary Maloney, a uh, right back. So let's see. We've got one, two, three center backs. One, two. He can play a defensive center and a striker. That's odd. I want to look at him in a minute. So we've got we've got a couple of center backs. We've got. One left, one right, maybe two left, two left, one right, and then one guy that can play two posit both sides. And it looks like he's pretty good as well. So, and then this guy, that's odd. That's a, that's a hell of a spread there. We did look at him. Okay, so he can't finish. So he's not a striker. Uh, first touch, marking, passing. He could be a defensive midfielder. Or, uh, he could be a playmaker in the midfield. Because uh, those are pretty fair ratings for this level, right? Stamina, pace, positioning, teamwork. All right. Uh, let's see. Who else? Uh, what else? We've got... Um, so he's probably a, mid, a central mid. Uh, so there's a defensive mid. So if he plays defensive mid, that gives us one central mid, one defensive mid. There's another central mid, two, three. All right, so we've got a bunch of central mids, two, three, two or three strikers. Now this looks like our top strike. Uh, why did I do that? Why did it? Why did it do that? I didn't do it. All right. No, not him. This guy. Levon Zerubjian? Just a guess, man. He's from Georgia. And that's not where Atlanta's at. That's not the land of Peachtree Streets. For those, that's a, that's a, if you're not, if you haven't, heard, don't know anything about Atlanta, Georgia, there, every street in the city basically is named Peachtree. There's hundreds of Peachtree Streets streets there's peach tree drive peach tree boulevard peach tree lane peach tree avenue you know and and yeah there's just you know think about every street that you know in in the town you live in and just change the name to peach tree something peach tree trail peach tree express peach tree highway that's what atlanta has chosen to do it's different so a six finishing not the best so maybe he'd be better as a number 10. Long shots. Mm. So yeah, I need to get in there and figure out. Need to figure out what we're going to do with that. Um, this Again, this episode, we're just looking at the clubs. We're just looking at the clubs. So we've got, uh, what's that? Eight guys on actual contracts. Uh, they all expire. Adam Brown is on an expired contract, right? What's his current contract? 
It is exp I'm guessing that means it's expired. Do we want to offer him again? How old is he? He's 19. He's a left back. Very good physicals. He can cross. He can pass. Let's offer him a new deal. Um, I'm not currently interested. Okay, so you're a dick. All right. Cool, man. That's, that's, uh, you do you. All right. So we are, uh, we're at 30 minutes. So what else do we want to look at here in the real quick? Um, staff, I've got, uh, me and my, oh, what's my assistant coach look like? Is he worth a damn? Josh Vance. Five, six, six. Uh, all right. Well, you're what I got. For those of you, I, I will have a general manager hired, uh, and then he does all the hiring. I don't mess with my staff at all. Uh, let's see. Yes, well, the board, you can hire a general manager. I have offered you to do that. And we have a scout uh seven five all right so very early going here hey kettle how are you doing this morning uh the med center all right everybody's healthy it looks like we have uh some friendlies coming up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play those friendlies we'll come back for the walking and farm borough match uh but yeah you know what real quick before we leave club info all right so unfortunately when I took the job, okay, <laughs> when I took the job, it broke me down to just last the last couple of years. But this is, I believe, the first year that Dunstable Town reached the Vonorama Regionals and they finished 20th. Uh, so they've been solidly low end table the two years. They've only been up two years, I think. Get out of it. Ah, sorry, the cats. Um, I've, I've always warned you guys. You, you know, I record in my house. I have 11 cats and two dogs and three kids and a wife and a grandbaby all in the house. Sometimes you get real life here, man. I don't do this for a living. So yeah, sometimes real life uh, makes it into the microphone if not onto the camera, because I know you guys have seen the cats too. So, um, but yeah, so, so it looks like they just made it up here a couple of years ago. Uh, so they're two years up in, in the Vonorama and that's good. Um, finances were 219,000 in the hole. Uh, we're spending 49, 74700 under the payroll budget, but we're still losing money, so we need to still watch that. That's that's probably, you know, that 130 range is probably where we need to be. Uh, any debts? No. Uh, well, okay, yeah, that's just what we're in the hole. So we don't have any loans or anything to drag us down. Um all right, so that's not horrible, not horrible. Um, you know, we really do need to win, and we do need to try to get promoted. Um, this is different. Um, they actually, in real life, have a solid blue kit with, with striping on the sleeve, and then the white with the blue stripe on the sleeve. So I like the, the real kit better than this. Not a, not a fan of uh, stripes, especially, you know, horizontal stripes because I'm a fat guy and they make you look fatter. Uh, so don't like that. Uh, I shall not be wearing the, uh, the home kit uh, on the sideline. <laughs> so, all right. Um, what I'm going to go do now is I am going to, uh, I do want to go on the Steam Workshop and I want to download a squad view. Uh, just, I know somebody's put one up, uh, one or two people. I do want those. Uh, I am going to try. I can't promise long term because I've told you guys I am not a tactical genius. Um, we have not even picked a tactic yet. 
I don't even know if we have enough players to, for a tactic. So um, I will figure that out because I'm going to be going in and uh, playing those friendlies. So, uh, but they say wing play, route one, or park the bus. I guess that's a low league thing. Um, if we go wing play, because I, you know, route one I don't like and park the bus doesn't sound fun. Low and structured defense. Yeah, I think you need to be more attacking. Uh, and what formation do they suggest? A base 4-4-2. Four, four, any other formations that line up? Well, we'll go ahead and pick the 4-4-2, and we'll go that route. Um, I have to wait for, the, well, here's all the players. But anyway, I will get into that. We will go over uh, players and stuff, uh, and we'll get to know the players, all of us, because I don't know anything about the players. I've only looked at the ones we've seen here. Um, I will ask you, please, hit the like button. Um the more likes that a video gets, then the more it shows up in the YouTube algorithms or suggested videos. And, uh, you know, for me as a small channel, that's really a lifeblood. Uh, you know, I'm not going to compete with the thousand plus likes that, you know, Loki and Lelujo are getting. And, uh, you know, that's not my place in the world. Uh, but, you know, the more likes that I can get, uh, the more it does expose my channel to other people. So if you like what I do, only if you like what I do, hit the like button for me. Help me out. That's the way you support my channel. Uh, so if you like what I do, hit the like button. If you don't like what I do, come back and look at the next video anyway. Guys, we will see you to start the season next episode. But I've got a lot of work to do between now and then. So uh, we'll catch up next episode. Have a good one. Bye.